heroes in action. In my lesson, step one, the most important thing is select a pose and start by finding the action line. It's really important in any drawing that you're that you're creating some movement. You want something to be happening in there, and especially in a superhero drawing, you want there to be some movement. So in this case, this guy looks like he's starting to curve that way a bit, like he's going to lift off, and he's even got his arm up. So it's really important to kind of get a flow of action going. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line to represent that. Okay, that's our start. Step number two, draw your head, locate your shoulder and hip lines, and use lines uh, for limbs and dots for joints. Use circles for your hands and feet as well as your head. So here we go, we have our head up here, right? And his shoulder is kind of on an angle, so get that in there. Put some dots for your shoulders, and his hips also curving a bit, slightly smaller. And for the arms, he has one arm starting off this way. And a hand like that. And the other one is kind of going up. He's kind of reaching, so it's important to get that reach motion. There's the hand. And we have one leg going down this way. And then his other one is kind of jutting out a little bit. Okay. So shoulder lines, you gotta get the curve of the shoulders. You can see he's tilting this way, and the hips, actually the hips are tilting the opposite way. In fact, that happens pretty often. You have kind of what is called a contrapposto. So you're a lot of times the shoulders will be going one way and the hips will be going the other way. And that's when people shift their balance. That kind of what's, that's kind of what happens. Okay, so the next step, it says expand your figure. So you're going to kind of go around all these lines that we've made in circles and start to flesh out um, what the body actually looks like. Okay, paying close attention to the model. So we have the head, right? And we have the neck. Right. I'm just going to draw in the shape of the model here. I think it's going to help me a bit. Later I could always erase some of those lines and it kind of turns in a little bit at the hip. I mean the waistline here and their hip. Right? And here's the shoulder. They're reaching. I feel like the arm got a little bit too big, so it's okay to make adjustments. I liked the reach, but the the bicep was a little too big, so I have to adjust that a little bit. The arm's still doing this nice reach, right? Keep that motion line going. Okay, we have this one here, and the one leg is going straight down. Have their knee here, and it's kind of going back a little bit. And here's our foot forming. There we are. This next one comes out a bit. There's our knee, and it's also going back. My model is kind of tilting this way, but I think it would make more sense if he's turning that way just a little. So I'm going to make that adjustment, and that's okay. You can adjust your figure as you like. It's your own design. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and erase my action line. Right, we have the action pretty much going this way, so I'm going to erase my action line because I know how I want the action to flow. And I want to start working in my details to get my figure looking more like an action figure. Alright, so my last step. It says, step four, add details and erase the action line and stick figure markings. So go ahead and start adding the details in. So, you could go ahead and erase some of those inner lines, right? And start to add details to the figure. Like you're gonna wanna add their face in there, right? Let me erase those hip lines. Okay, 
I have to decide how I want my action figure to look. Okay, so I need to add, start with the face. Anyway, so there, there we got something started here. Now I have to decide, are they standing on the ground or are they already up in the air? Let's make them already up in the air, that's kind of fun. <laughs> okay, so they're kind of going up, right this way. And maybe they're on top of Skyline. Oh yeah. So this is where we started and keep adding things. Um, here's another action hero one I did. Here's this guy, it looks like he's jumped and you know landed in this cool way. He has a shadow. It's really important when you're drawing um, to add shadows. If someone's in the sky though, that's a little tricky. So you really have to think about where the sun where the light's coming from. Maybe it's coming from here, which means my shadow should be more on this side. Okay, on the figure itself. I'm gonna do that. Try and add a little bit of depth. Right, make my figure look more 3D. If they were just coming off of a building, they could or off of something, there could be a little bit of a shadow on on there. Right? It depends. A little bit of shadow on this side. A little bit of shadow underneath where her top part overlaps. When you get do the shadow and add all those values in between, maybe even there's wrinkles in the in her uniform there or the dress part, right? Adds a little bit of flair. The more shadow and values in between that you add, the more realistic it looks. It makes it look more 3D. All right. I'm gonna color in the A. Probably wouldn't be the same color as the background. She needs a neckline. There we go. Are starting to look a bit more realistic. I feel like your arm feels a little bit awkward, so I have to work to get that a little bit more exact. Okay. In fact, I think maybe in real life she would have been having both of her arms up there. That might have helped, but that's all right. Maybe for next time. Okay. All right. So this is this is a good start. I could always continue to change it up a bit. I could add more details um, if I would like. 
I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you come up with your own creative ideas. It's always fun to see what kind of artwork people come up with because it's always different from one person to the next. And that's what's so wonderful about art. No two things are the same. So I always say there's no wrong way to do art because art is self-expression. All right. That is my beginning tutorial of how to draw heroes in action. So there's my hero. And I'm going to go ahead and show the other one that I've done before. That's my other hero. Okay. <laughs> and these are this is my step-by-step -step process right here. So step one, select a pose and start by finding the action line. Step two, draw the head, locate the shoulders and hip lines. Use lines for limbs and dots for joints. Use circles for hands and feet. Number three, expand your figure. Number four, add details and erase the action line and stick figure markings. And enjoy it. Heroes in action. There we are. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed.